What's going on YouTube? We got a super exciting week this week. We've had two kernel level bypasses released within a week of each other. One, of, The first one was pretty unstable, so the developer ended up pulling it. However, another developer has released a more stable version of a kernel level jailbreak detection bypass. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install it, how to set it up. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, before you can get this kernel level detection bypass working on your device to play all these games right here, Pokemon, Fortnite, PUBG, Pocket Camp, the first thing you're gonna need to do is go ahead and destroy that like button. Just pound it into the ground until it turns blue. And then you can go ahead and open your package manager of choice and install the repo and the new bypass. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and download new term. So if we go ahead, it's new term iOS 10 through iOS 13. Go ahead, download and install that. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add this source right here, Acuzio Repo. If we go over into his source, go ahead and go to Kern Bypass. Go ahead and tap install, confirm. Restart the springboard. Once you're back in, go ahead and open up new term. You're going to go ahead and type SU, enter. The default password is going to be Alpine, so A L P I N E. Enter again. Now you're going to text this exactly. So change root FS space the and symbol push return next you're going to type disown space percent sign then one then push return all right now the daemon is now running so if we go ahead and jump back over to our settings go down to kern bypass this is where you're going to enable which applications you want to bypass jailbreak detection. So I've enabled Fortnite, Pocket Camp, Pokemon Go, PUBG, you know, all the standard games and stuff that you want to make sure you can play while you are jailbroken. So now if we go ahead and open up some of these games, you'll see that they are running perfectly fine. No issues, no crashes. Now this bypass is only working on some games. I'm going to go ahead and leave a quick list of games that I know that it is working on and applications that I know that it is working on. But some applications like Mario Run are still not working and neither is Mario Kart. Mario Kart will open and load, but it will get frozen on the loading screen. Just go ahead and wait until the developer up makes a couple more updates to this bypass. But for now, these major games such as Fortnite, PUBG Mobile, Pokemon Go, Pocket Camp, Nintendo Switch Online, these major games that you guys want to use while you are in a jailbroken state will be working perfectly fine. All right, so if you go ahead and follow all those command prompts in new term and then you notice that it is still not working, and a way to test this is try Pokemon Go because that one is definitely working. It's been tested by the developer. But if you run those commands and you notice that it is not working, go ahead and head over to Filesa. And you're gonna to want to go to VAR, then Mobile Software Update. And make sure that this MNT1 folder is there. If it is not there, go ahead and create that folder and name it MNT1. Then go ahead run the commands again, respring the device, and then all of these files should appear in that folder. However, I've run this twice, and every single time I have not had to do this. 
but I have seen that some users have had to manually go into files that and create this folder. But it should work the first try using new terminal. All right guys, if you guys have any questions or you need any help, go ahead and drop a comment below. Go ahead and destroy that like button if you guys are excited about all these kernel level jailbreak detection bypass tweaks dropping. I know that Jake James is working on one himself that he said will be more user friendly. You will not have to use terminal or anything like that. It should just have a graphical interface. Go ahead and remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh.